I actually never thought about having something like this until now. But knowing that this is an actual reality and that this is happening, I realize I've always wanted this. Hello everybody, I'm the Mark of Dragons, and welcome back to a different kind of video. This one is going to be more in the style of my older videos, like the Monster Movie video. And uh, once you see the title and read through the video, you will understand why. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time that we announce the big news. Monster Hunter is officially getting a 3D animated special. Now, from the sounds of things and from the current information of that we know, it seems like this will be just like a singular episode kind of event. Maybe about 30 minutes long, an hour, who knows. There's not much detail known at the moment, but just the fact that we are getting this is absolutely amazing. Um, we've had monster kind of stuff, I mean there was a monster of stories right on anime, but from what I heard that kind of got mixed receptions, mostly from the first 10 or 20 episodes. Other than that, I have no clue how the anime did since I never watched it. Any other kind of content was just kind of... Bleh. So, in terms of content outside of games, Monster doesn't really have a lot. Um, it had the Orash series comics, and um, it's got the art books and all, but in terms of expanding the universe outside of the games and actually delving into the lore, we really haven't gone the best of chances at this, which makes me so excited for Monster Hunter Legends of the Guild. And already, that title just screams at me a whole bunch of possibilities, mostly revolving around the Black Dragon himself, Fatalis. For, as we know, there are so many legends revolving around Fatalis in the monster world. The legend that he splits the continent or kingdom of scrape in half with his tail, that he rained down vengeance upon humanity after the creation of the equal dragon weapon and the war that followed, which by the way basically reduced the world to a post-apocalyptic future where Wyvarians had to take charge and teach these youngsters how to do it, and a whole bunch more, such as the legend of the Black Flame Fatalis and just the fact that Fatalis is like the most popular elder dragon. One of the most popular and well-known monsters in the entire franchise. His legend and his name is known by all, even those who have not faced him. And, whew, that title just gives me so many assumptions for what is going to happen. And there's also the possibility we may finally get some more knowledge on the ancient civilization outside of the Frontier series, the games, and the art books, because everyone knows about the Equal Dragon Weapon, everybody knows about the art books and the ancient war that was waged between humanity and the dragons. We all know that. But this animated special could give us some much needed insight into the Equal Dragon Weapon, the ancient civilization, maybe even confirm some aspects of Frontier as canon like the Sky Quarter, and most importantly, and what I'm looking forward to, Fatalis. So with all that speculation out of the way and just thought presuming, let's actually get to something we do know, the story. And everything that I read and will quote will be shown in the screen above, and a source to it will be linked. Anyway, quote, Capcom, a leading worldwide developer and publisher of video games, and Pure Imagination Studios, the award-winning independent micro-studio that combines proprietary technology with groundbreaking storytelling, are in production on a computer graphics animated special that will expand upon the universe of Monster Hunter, Capcom's blockbuster game series. The two companies will produce and co-finance the special with Pure Imagination overseeing domestic and international sales. Joshua Fine, Ultimate Spider-Man, wrote the special. Production will be completed this winter and the special is expected to premiere globally in 2019. The 3D animated special, dubbed Monster Hunter Legends of the Guild, tells the story of a brave young man determined to prove himself as a Monster Hunter worthy of recognition. His chance will come all too soon when he discovers that his remote village lies in the path of an elder dragon, a veritable force of nature made flesh. 
Quote, we are thrilled to return fans to the universe of Monster Hunter and expand the series' rich lore, said Monster Hunter series producer Ryozo Tsujimoto. We think diehard fans will appreciate our dedication to the source material, while those uninitiated to the series will still be treated to an epic adventure in a wholly unique world. End quote. So, this goes beyond just the speculation I said, because something worthy to note here is the line in the middle, where we are told the story of the special. And one line in particular intrigues me. His chance will come all too soon when he discovers that his remote village lies in the path of an elder dragon. Note that it says lies in the path, as in something is walking towards the town, which makes me immediately think of Lao Shan Lun, the classic mountain elder dragon from the original Monster Hunter. And guess who Lao Shen Lun is associated with? Fatalis. It was said that in the original games, the reason why Lao Shen Lun was even running in the first place, and why he was going to the fortress, was because he was running from a Fatalis. And so, if we assume that the Elder Dragon spoken of in the story that will collide with our main character is in fact Lao Shen Lun, then that opens up the door to the possibility that the whole ancient civilization shtick that I was going on about earlier isn't just pure coincidence or speculation. This could be a possibility. We have a hunter who is connected to the attack of Lao Shen Lun, walking through his village, and the man will most likely seek vengeance or whatever happens, depending on if the village is destroyed or if his family gets killed, whatever, which ties Lao Shen Lun and him to Fatalis, which is also tied to the ancient civilization. So, we can get a whole new scope of the lore, and just so many new details that we have never known before. And ladies and gentlemen, this, this is what I want from the Monster movie. W.S. Anderson, take notes. This is how you do a Monster Hunter TV series, a special, a movie, whatever you want to say, this is how you do it! You have no idea how excited and ecstatic I am that we are finally gonna get some good Monster Hunter non-game content. You know, ever since the movie news and the fact that one of the only chances a monster hunter getting well known and recognized across the world via movie is gonna be stomped by the guy that made Resident Evil, well, looks like I don't have to worry about that anymore! Hallelujah! Praise Kulu! Well, actually, uh, we still have to worry about the movie because it's still gonna come out, but you get what I mean, you know? Having this come out, a true Monster Hunter special directed by Capcom and just people who know what they are talking about, who know the crap behind the series, is just... I, I am done. I am so joy-filled in life, and I am so ecstatic towards this. Now, is there a possibility that this could suck? Absolutely. There is always a possibility. What comes to mind for a lot of people when they hear 3D animated in terms of anime-like episodes or series is, most people immediately think of Berserk. You know, that awful, terrible anime that I never watched but I've just seen a few clips from and whew, holy crap it is bad. And I will admit there is reason to be worried, I mean after all, in terms of 3D animated anime and cartoons. There really isn't much to go off in terms of positivity, but I mean, there's also reason to be ecstatic and hopeful. This is directed by Capcom, nobody else. This isn't directed by some American author. This isn't directed by W.S. Anderson or some American company. This is directed by Japan and Capcom. They know their crap. And recently we've had the Godzilla anime series premiere on Netflix, which by the way, the Mechagodzilla sequel is soon to come out, I've heard. And while the anime series may be disappointing in terms of storytelling and just all this potential in it, the, the, the animation is still really good, and if it's anything like the free Godzilla anime, in terms of just how it looks, the visuals, and how it moves, and if it's not anything like Berserk, 
When I'm set, I have full hope and optimism that this will work. Not only providing some joy to fans who finally want some explanation on some events and lore that we never got the chance to explore, but also introduce to newcomers the fantastically rich lore that lies beneath this story-lacking series. Not to say that Monster doesn't have a story, I mean, 4 Ultimate proved that, but in terms of an overall narrative in the games, it doesn't really have much, but this series will prove to so many people that Monster can be this invested in the lore, so deep, complex, mysterious, and intriguing, not just to old fans, but to newcomers as well. And for that, I am excited and hopeful. And if there's any note I can end this off on, W.S. Anderson, take notes please. With all that being said, I have been the Mark of Dragons, and I hope you have all enjoyed this video. This is something I normally don't do on my channel, because I'm not kind of a news coverage person. But I'm sorry, after the disappointment and announcement of the Monster movie that's been going on for a solid year now, just in terms of disappointment after disappointment, to know that this is finally coming out, something like this is finally being released, brings joy to my heart. And you know what? I want to know what you guys think. Are you ecstatic? hyped, optimistic towards this, or are you worried because of past stigma with 3D animated cartoons and anime like Berserk? I want to know, and most of all, let's all be respectful in the comments. We are here to have a good time and to have a discussion. With all that being said, I have been the Mark of Dragons, I hope you all have a fantastic day slash night wherever you live. Peace. KULUS VAULT!